they feel like they could have given you what you wanted, but you didn't ask for it. Please scroll on if this doesn't resonate. You slipped away. You think a lot of people have been removed from your life for your protection. And I think this is that one of those things. Starseed card came out. Also, rose-colored glasses. I think this person really held you on a pedestal. And I think it's not just one person. I kind of am just getting a sense that this has happened to you a lot. Like, I get an image of like a stone just kind of rolling down a hill, stopping for a second, and then kind of rolling somewhere else. Not even realizing what's going on. But I think life is just sort of taking you down a windy path. This person, though, I think they see you thriving without them. I'm just getting an energy of a lot of people who see you as someone who got away. I think you, you're going through things, a glow up, success, something that's making people regret not taking a chance with you or take regretting burning bridges with you, regretting, regretting saying things to you. Um, I think they see you as a very powerful person, but... They also see you going through things like they're like, well, I could have done that for them. I could have given them that. I could have helped them with their success. I could have, whatever it is. And it could, you know, I feel like part of it is relationship related. Like maybe you're in a new relationship or you've posted things about someone, but they just, it's kind of a could have been me type of attitude. Should have been me. Why did you always slip away? But I also don't think that they really knew you. I think they're drawn to you, the starseed thing. I think a lot of people are just drawn to you naturally for reasons beyond your control. <laughs> Maybe you don't even know why, but you just slip away. I mean, cause I feel like I'm just, again, it's more like a roll away. Like, I just kind of feel like, and you got to trust God that this has been the right thing for you. That if people are removed from you, places are changed, you know, that that's the right thing. Like, I just feel like you've gone through a lot of things for right now, for such a time as this. That keeps going through my head. Reflection. You are sitting back maybe reflecting on your life. Other people reflecting on you. I just feel like there's a lot of reflection. I kind of just get a sense right now of, um, I don't want to say stagnant energy. How do I put it? Like energy that's moving, but also sort of like being in the eye of the storm. I feel like a lot of us are feeling that right now. You know how it's, oh wow, you passed the test. I feel like what I was going to say about the eye of the storm or the eye of a tornado, it's calmest in the eye. I think when I say there's calm energy, I kind of feel like a lot of us just feel like there's a tornado going on around us. Like, what's going on? Like, it just, I don't know about you, but it just feels like, to me, life is changing by the day. And I feel like it's a good thing, though. And I feel like maybe that's, maybe for you, too, you're passing a lot of tests. Um, mm, and I think that's what's going on. That's why the glow up. It's not, you know, this person or whoever it is, these people. <laughs> Again, I feel like it's just some energy that you draw in. But I think a lot of people are, are thinking... It's, I mean, it's kind of along the lines of, the, I could have done that. Like, let's say you have a social media following, and there are people who are like, well, I could have done that. There's nothing special about them. I could have done that. Well, did they? They could still do it. Why aren't they doing it? You know? But I don't think it's necessarily, what the energy I'm getting from this is not necessarily jealousy. It's, well, I mean, it kind of is, but it's more jealousy that they're not helping you. I'm getting the energy of someone who regrets that they didn't show you who they were more because... They're supposed to get two cards from here for some reason. They feel like they would have pleased you, like they would have given you whatever you wanted, but you didn't ask for it. They tried to give you what you wanted. And they just feel like you kind of left, went away, and after them, like you changed into someone they actually wanted even more. They don't understand what happened. But I feel like you passed the test. There was something going on for you. You were strong, and you were not of this earth. See, that goes along with this. There's just a lot of unintentional glow-up going on here. Like, I just think... Um, your strength also is why you, wow, okay, the slipping away. Now I'm getting that vision of that rock. You know how I was saying that rock rolling down a hill? I think at times you were lodged like behind some other rocks, you know what I mean? And like you had to pry yourself out of there, but you were strong. That's how it happened. That's, you have passed so many tests. Like, let me get a couple more cards. Like, I just, well, actually, let me move on to this manifestation deck. And God, speak, speak through these cards. You just have a lot of strength and a determination to keep going. But I think, you know, a lot of people really, this rose-colored glasses keeps popping out at me. Like, when people look at you, you know, they're, they're seeing an enhanced version of you. I don't feel like they really know the real you, and I'm not trying to say that in a bad way. I just mean people really, I mean, I just don't think you realize how much you touch people's lives and how special you are to people and how they wish they could have just gone on this journey with you. You achieve everything you want in life. This person sees you as that per as this already. People already see you as this. They think you've already achieved. They just think... 
I think you make a lot of people reflect on their past failures, their whatever they're not doing right. I don't know. I'm just getting a sense of somebody really missing out some deep regret here. You look much younger than your age and you have nothing to hide. Don't let anyone get in your head and think, make you think you do have something to hide. I've been getting a download lately that one of the many antichrists in the end days is cancel culture. There's about nothing more anti-unconditional love, anti the teachings of Jesus than cancel culture. Because um, if anything, he came to show us that none of us are canceled, even though we should be, every single one of us. Anyway, there's nothing holding you back. That's, I think you maybe that's the test, is that you finally just got over yourself. And I can, I can relate to that. Like, look, I, there's stuff I'm not going to say that I've just been going through personally. And um, you just got to keep going and not worry about what the people around you say. You got to worry more about the purpose you came here to this earth to fulfill. And I think this person, though, I think they just see you as a, someone who deserves what they're getting in a good way. Like, you deserve to come up or whatever it is that's going on, but they can't figure out how you slipped away. They can't figure out what happened even. Like, why aren't we together? Why am I not? And it doesn't have to be romantic. But anyway, this is to... I just feel like I'm supposed to get another... One more card. I don't know what... I, I don't know why... It's just how it works. Let me see. Oh, gosh. Okay. These are the cards that came out. Okay. Very end here. You need to move on. Bad influences. Time to forget. They want you to... Okay, this answers some questions for me then. Because I, I just feel like there's something missing in this reading. Like, what's this really about? You need to move on from this. Like, I think this person wants to... If they can't get rid of the bad influences, it's time to forget about them. I think they were really, really... Mm, that was what that's why you slipped away from them this time and i don't even know if you realize why i don't even i think they hid stuff from you and i think maybe you saw them through rose colored glasses as well there was a lot of that going on anyway okay yeah i feel like this definitely for you if you're watching this reading if you've watched this far i think this is somebody needed to hear this i hope this resonates for you um i'm getting a lot of energy from a lot of very strong energy coming through today but anyway you need to move on time to forget it like i said unless they are willing to lay down the bad influences like, if they were coming to you for money because they had to pay for a bad habit, bad influence. Nope. Gone. I think that could be also why they're regretting. Because they think that you have money. I hate to say that. But I think it's more than that. I think it's way more than that. Anyway, you keep going. You are strong. You have nothing to hide. You look much younger than your age. And you achieve everything you want in life. It is spoken. It is written. And so it is. Amen.